According to Venator News, the Dutch armed forces have recently taken delivery of the first two Elbit Pulse rocket launcher systems from the Israeli company Elbit Systems. The acquisition plan involves procuring 20 Pulse systems, which will be deployed into two operational batteries. Each battery will comprise eight rocket launcher systems, organized into two platoons. Additionally, four Pulse systems will be allocated for training and backup purposes, demonstrating a comprehensive readiness approach within the Dutch military. These Pulse rocket artillery systems are intended to supplement the existing armament of the 43 Mechanized Brigade and the 13 Light Brigade, enhancing their firepower capabilities. This integration will establish a flexible artillery division, combining PZH-2000 NL self-propelled howitzers with the newly acquired Pulse rocket artillery systems. An outstanding feature of the Pulse system is its versatility, showcased by its capability to be mounted on various truck chassis. While the current Dutch systems are installed on Tatra 815-7 6x6 trucks, there are plans to transition them to Scania Griffiths trucks equipped with armored cabins. Although the delivery schedule for the systems is clear, specific details regarding the types of rockets to be utilized by the Netherlands remain undisclosed. However, it is expected that this information will be disclosed as deliveries progress, with completion anticipated by 2026. The Scania Griffiths, also known as Scania XT or Scania XT Griffiths, is slated to become the operational truck for the Dutch armed forces in the future. Manufactured by the Swedish company Scania and assembled at their production center in Zvala, the Griffiths is derived from the Scania XT series, introduced in 2017. It measures 10.80 meters in length, 2.55 meters in width, and 3.715 meters in height, with an empty weight exceeding 18,800 kilograms. Powered by a six-cylinder inline turbocharged engine generating 500 horsepower at 1,600 revolutions per minute, it offers a range of 850 kilometers. The Griffiths serves various branches of the Dutch military, including the Royal Army, Navy, Air Force, and Royal Military Police, in addition to the Defense Support Command and other affiliated units. As reported by Army Recognition on May 18, 2023, the procurement of the Elbit Pulse rocket artillery systems forms part of a 305 million contract signed between Elbit Systems and the Netherlands. This contract entails the delivery of 20 Pulse MLRS over the next five years, with the initial four systems to be supplied on Tatra Force, 815-7. 6x6 chassis for training and reserve purposes. Subsequently, the remaining 16 systems, already mounted on Scania chassis, will be divided into two batteries, each comprising two platoons, totaling four pulse systems per platoon. The Precision Fires Launcher System, PULS, developed by Elbit Systems, is a mobile artillery rocket system renowned for its precision and adaptability. This system, offering potential advantages for modern military operations, has been procured by various countries. Notably, Spain has expressed interest in the Pulse under the High Mobility Rocket Launcher System, SILOM, program, along with Germany and Denmark within Europe. Featuring two pods designed for specific rocket types, the Pulse Launcher enhances its versatility. These rocket variants include the Acular 122mm, with 18 rockets and a range of up to 35 km, the Acular 160mm, providing 10 rockets with a range of up to 40 km, extra, comprising four rockets with a range of up to 150 km, and the Predator Hawk, including two rockets with a range of 300 km. This diverse range of rocket options enables the system to address various threats, ranging from close-range tactical targets to distant strategic objectives. Engineered for rapid mission execution, the Pulse system can initiate and complete a standard firing mission in less than one minute. This swift response time ensures timely fire support on the battlefield. Furthermore, its adaptability allows seamless integration with various military vehicles, whether tracked or wheeled, with minimal modifications required. This adaptability has the potential to reduce implementation and maintenance costs, offering a practical solution for achieving advanced rocket and missile launching capabilities.